Hi there, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is HandmadeInVermont.com and today we're talking about the Hopperton Forge Kirigami 4 Light Semi-Flush. So Kirigami is Japanese and it means the art or technique of folding paper into objects. And uh, it's pretty cool and that's kind of what we're doing here. However, we're not using paper, we're using this. And this is a high grade, stiff, hear that? Polymer fabric. So it's flat, um, it looks a little bit like rice paper, but it's thicker than that, it's very durable. Um, when we have this on the floor of our showroom, I just use an old t-shirt to clean it. It's very easy just to dust it really easily. And light's going to get through it and cast this beautiful warm glow. This kind of actually looks like snow, which is kind of funny. So it's a really cool thing that we're doing here. And it's really just the art of bending it into these long flutes. So you've got four of these. So this is the 123305. Let's get into the size of the fixture itself. From the bottom to the ceiling itself is coming in at 8.5. And if you're looking up at this, it's basically a square. You've got the four points coming out. So you've got 22.5 by 22.5. It's coming in at 5.7 pounds, not very heavy at all. Um, and why don't we talk canopy really quick. So canopy up in the ceiling is going to be a 4.5 inch uh, square canopy. It's going to go over your 4 inch junction box, just remember that. And then I want to show you a little bit more information about that and we're going to do it really quick by looking at the installation's instructions right now. So if you're on the page for this on Handmade in Vermont, look over on that side of the screen midway down you're going to see a link. It's going to say click here for installations, instructions, PDF. Open that up for me. It's going to show you a full parts list. It's going to show you how easily it goes together and how simple and beautiful it is. It's also going to show you some details about the canopy and how it goes on your four inch junction box. So take advantage of that if you guys can, okay? Let's talk about what's going on inside this as far as lamping goes. You have four of these medium base sockets and they just take medium base bulbs. You can still use incandescents if you want to in this. You're going to be limited to four type A and this is an A19. That's the size light bulb you're going to be using if you do incandescence up to a 60 watt in each of these sockets. So you've got four of these, don't forget. However, you can get so much more light out of this if you just go LED, and that's a better way to go. So these are A19 LEDs. This is a phosphorus one. This is kind of the old school cob ones hiding in a diffuser. These are easy to find in this size um, up to a 60 watt in, uh, equivalent, 75 watt equivalent. I can even find these little A19 phosphorus guys up to 100 watt equivalent. However, you can also play around with it. So if you're doing LED, you know, they don't generate heat, they generate light, and they use very little electricity. So you can play around if you want to and go a little bigger. This is an A20. So see, that's an A19. This is an A20, so it's a little bigger. And you can see if this is going to fit in there, and I think it probably will. So I found these in a four pack at Home Depot, and the color was good color of the light was good. We'll talk about that in a second. But also all the other things about it I liked. Very inexpensive. Uh, the, um, they were dimmable, which is good. And it came in a four pack. And this is a four, this is a four light, don't forget. So this is a 100 watt equivalent. I can find these 150 watt equivalent. Sometimes you can find these a 200 watt equivalent if you go on Amazon or some of those other bulb sites. So don't forget, you've got four of these sockets. You can just pump light out of this if you guys need to. Light's going to go up on your ceiling, bounce around the room, and create a beautiful ambient glow. The color of the light coming out of these bulbs is always going to be offered to you in different ways. It's going to be offered to you in 2700 Kelvin. That's like a super yellow setting sun color. They're also going to be offering these to you in something called daylight. And daylight sounds like it should be warm like sunlight, but it's not. That is 4,000, 5,000 Kelvin on the Kelvin scale. And that's that bluish white light like an overcast day or maybe a convenience store. And that's that. However, what we like to use in our showroom all the time, and we talk about it all the time, is warm white, soft white LEDs, and those are 3,000 Kelvin. That's the light coming down on my hands right now, and that's what these guys are. So it casts a beautiful glow, kind of like an incandescent bulb, and that's just what we want. The other thing about it is you can get these dimmable. It's a dimmable fixture without any problem. Just make sure it says it on that box. Let's get into metal finishes now. If you are on the handmadeinvermont.com website, look over in the red tabs with the pictures in them over there. You're going to see a finishes help guide tab. Open that up for me. It's going to be a video there of me talking to you guys about the differences in Hubbardson Forge finishes, how they can look on different types of forging. I'm going to be referencing a chart just down below. So scroll down a little bit. You're going to see a chart. You can click on that chart. So you can click on dark smoke. You can click on soft gold. Doesn't matter. Big page will pop up showing lots of different things in that finish. 
you can go back to the chart and you'll notice there's letters A's on them, letter B's on some of those things, and that's going to be showing you this range of variants that you can expect to see on different translucent finishes, but I'll talk about all of that in the video, okay? Okay, showroom. Our showroom in Vermont has over 400 Hubberton Forge fixtures. This is the biggest showroom in the world at Hubberton Forge. No other showroom is like this. Hubberton Forge doesn't even have their own showroom. They use this one. Uh, what's on display? We have a great tab on that. On, in those same red tabs, you're going to see a what's on display page. So open that up. It's going to show you everything we have on display and including which finish, which shade, all of those things and what kind of glass it's on there. We're open every day except Sunday, 11 to 6. I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. We also have an amazing clearance center. Clearance center stuff is 75% off MSRP. It's returns, discontinued stuff, showroom samples. You have to come here to use it. Can't call us or email us about it, but it's definitely worth coming in to look at if you're in Vermont. Plus, you want to use the showroom anyway because there's just so much great stuff here to see. Our number in Vermont, 802-446-2400. You can email us seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Love to answer emails, and it's sales at handmadeinvermont.com. So when you order from handmadeinvermont.com, shipping is going to be free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. No tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont. And we're the only dealer with 90-day returns, no restocking fee. Nobody else does that. Some larger items are going to be non-returnable. It's going to be really important that you are looking at the fixture on that page and kind of scroll down under, under the description. It'll tell you if that is the case. And that's usually for really big, giant, huge fixtures, mostly that go out on pallets. Okay, that's it. Rush program. Let's talk about that. So rush program. Hubberton Forge generally takes about three to four weeks to go out the door. That's production time before your transit time. You always have to add that on, too. We offer a rush program that takes you from that three to four weeks down to a little under two weeks, it's it's a very small addition per line item. So if you have like one, two, three items, like let's say three or four outdoor sconces and they're all the same size and they're all the same finish, that's one line item. So it's very inexpensive to rush those kind of things. Don't be afraid to email us and ask about that. Okay, so that's really it. If you guys have any other questions, let us know. We would love to see you in our showroom sometime. And thanks for stopping in.